we left our dream career. Now the first few months after my husband and I, Josh, we turned back to America. We left our dream career of serving God overseas. We left what we had placed our identity in, which was our career and being a servant of God. We left all that behind. And we both struggled when we came back. We both struggled with our identity issues. Well, me personally, I can't speak for my husband, but I struggled with failure. Did I fail God because I couldn't, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't rough it out overseas. It broke me down to pieces. So I'm not strong. And I struggled with, did I disappoint God in any of this? Did I make him unhappy? Did I displease him? And the answer to all of these questions, of course, is no, I did not make him unhappy. I didn't bring disappointment to my God and my take on serving the Lord eventually would flip and the Lord would have me test my motivation in my heart of why I would serve him did I serve him to gain more of his love did I serve him as a conditional way of getting something from him or did I serve him out of a heart that was pure and a heart that believed that I was already loved and accepted and valued by my God by my father in heaven and then as a result I served him out of love for him so all of that was taking place and the first few months were very very difficult they were the hardest I think I've ever experienced in my life I thought that I thought that when the storm began while we were overseas I thought that was the hardest part but the rebuilding part was just as difficult it was it was just as painful just as excruciating because laying down foundation <laughs> It was hard, it was really hard for me. And those months were me waking up every day and just being thankful that I got out of bed, that I brushed my hair and put on a fresh pair of clothes. These things, these simple tasks were super overwhelming for me at the time because I was dealing with so much turmoil within my soul. It felt like every wound that I ever experienced in my life from childhood up into this point was just open and bare. You could just barely touch it and then I would just fall apart. Like that's what it felt like it was very difficult but the Lord was with me through it all he never left me he walked with me in this dark dark valley and he comforted me in ways that were beautiful and when I would wake up he would give me grace to spend time with him he would give me grace to get ready for the day he would give me grace to eat to eat lunch to eat breakfast if my emotions went down again I would just come back to him and ask him for help and he would and then when the pain was just overwhelming all I could do was just sit there and cry he would be there he would comfort me the Holy Spirit always brought me comfort when I would cry and sometimes I couldn't cry so I would ask the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit help me cry to get through this to get this pain out of me so much was going on I couldn't even put vocabulary to what was going on within me I just knew God was doing something I knew that there was a work in progress and I trusted it but it wasn't easy the counselor was very helpful she helped me understand unhealthy relationships versus healthy relationships she helped me understand boundary setting she gave me all of these tools that were very helpful and that I could apply on a day-to-day -day basis but I still struggled with the fact that my brain had failed me mm -hmm. 